Reports here at topvelocity.net. Pitch announced here, Riley going to pair him up with Cody Hall, take them both into their leg lifts. Both, you'd say Cody's probably a little bit more inside drive leg out of his hips. Going to pick up more momentum, probably coming out of leg lift than Riley. I'd say definitely a little bit more. Um, Cody looks like a little bit more in just posterior chain. If we took just the particulars of the, being particular about the difference here, Cody's more closed, and therefore he's probably in more counter rotation in the hip. Um, because of that, the shin is more vertical or as far as, uh, not pushing towards third base side. I'd say force vector wise. I don't know if there's much of a difference. We'll see. It looks pretty close. Um, yep, yeah, pretty close to the same. I'd say Cody's trunk is a little more counter rotated. So I think this is going to be a key difference. Just seeing Cody more counter rotated in the hip, sitting back into that right hip flexor. Or flexion more. Uh, Riley's more open here. And then you can see back leg with Riley turning over. Not much drive. I'd say holding strong into front foot. Maybe a little late push, but really late uh, into front foot. You can see Cody definitely more dynamic here. Uh, a little bit more knee extension. Uh, definitely more aggressive with the push of the ankle into front foot. And you can see uh, the foot even coming slightly more off the rubber, just just slightly more dynamic. I would say like more, uh, pretty decently more dynamic. Cody's a big guy, so he's pushing a lot of force there. <clears throat> Syncs up really well with him because his hips are more open. Trunk is is a little bit more closed. Also, too, seeing uh, Riley being late to arm cock, telling me he can do that because his hips are late. Cody's hips are more open, so he has to get that arm cocking up in it. So there's probably def. I would definitely say there's more tension between the open hip position, the close shoulder orientation. At this point here, though, I mean, both in a good shoulder orientation. Uh, Cody just more power at this point. It should manifest at this point, as you can see. The hips are just getting over by Riley here, and you can see as the trunk uh, opens up, you see some trunk extension. I'd say a pretty strong. Uh, pull, pull to um, or lean contralateral to glove side. You're not going to see in Cody. Cody directing more energy forward. You can definitely see um, Riley leaning, leaning into that glove side pretty hard. Which just trying to obviously, there's not a lot of back leg energy through this hip. Then all we can do is pull off to glove side to help create more energy as the arm comes around. And you can see Cody here transferring more of that trunk forward just going to show uh, probably obvious more um, more uh, linear power coming out of drive you know maybe you know three degrees better um, front I would see even the front shins more vertical with with Riley so Riley going more contralateral if front foot strike as he pulls off and you can see Cody going more uh, linear, more forward trunk, uh, more even external rotation, more load on the on the arm. So it's probably just between the two, two similar similar guys here. Cody staying more closed. When we went, we were talking about that open, a little bit more open hip because of the open front foot, and more power out of the back leg drive than Riley, as Riley kind of just turns it down, and we see that all transfer here. With a, with a more powerful push into the trunk and Raleigh just pulling off glove side.